Hey guys, how's it going? It is Kayla here and hey look, I'm making another vlog in my car that just seems to be the time that it works. So today is Sunday, November 26th. My last video got posted a couple days late. I find when I make a really nice high quality video for you on my good camera, it takes forever to upload. And I wanted to share videos during the first week before, or like as I transition to December 1st. This is kind of preparing myself. Every year I try to do vlog bit vlogmas, but I'm trying not to make any excessive promises. So I do want to put a video up every day until, you know, December 1st. And I figure recording on my phone is a more effective way to get to you. It seems to upload fast. So anyway, enough with that long introduction, uh, where we are today. So for the last couple days, I've been doing almost completely raw, almost completely raw. Uh, last night, the only non-raw thing I had and this includes, I was working, I work at a vegan cafe and I got them to make me a completely raw dish as kind of a dinner snack type thing. And I don't think I ate enough food. This is always kind of the struggle for me is either there's some days where I eat way too much and there's some days that I just don't quite eat enough. And I ended up making some air pop popcorn for myself before bed last night. And that was the only non-raw thing I had. It was organic, non-GMO popcorn and it was, you know, I did it all myself. Um, other than that, I eat completely raw. Sundays are a tricky day for me, so I my Sundays are completely stacked. I leave my house at 9, 9.30 in the morning to go teach a class that is east of me. <laughs> and then I have to backtrack and go then an extra 45 minutes to an hour in the opposite direction beyond home uh, west of home uh, to go do a bunch of treatments uh, that counts kind of as you know homework study time just you know becoming the best manual practitioner possible so I have a I have a lineup lineup of people that I work on on Sundays this is my second Sunday uh, that I'm doing this so I'm actually on my way to do those treatments right now and then Normally, I'll stay out there and do studying and just kind of, you know, make the time worth it. But today is my mom's birthday, so I'm going to be heading back east to go home and hang out with my mom. So, tonight, this is, you know, it's just like the week, weekend of challenges. These are all the things that come up, right? You have, if you work at a job where there's food related, how do you deal with that? Whether you're going raw, whether you're going vegan, whether you're just going gluten-free, whether you're just trying to make healthier decisions to you know, lose a little extra weight, whatever it is that your goals are right now, how do you deal with those things? My personal goals right now are to transition to a 100% raw, uh, very low fat, raw vegan diet. You know, raw, raw vegan. You know, <laughs> that is my personal goal. My goal is to make that that transition. And if I can do that, you know, Christmas time in December, I can do it anytime. So that is my personal goal. But whatever your personal goal is right now, say you're along for the ride with me and, you know, six days from now you're making that transition. How do you deal with the places that um, make it difficult for you? Do you work around food? Do you work in a grocery store? Do you work in a restaurant, a cafe? Do you work somewhere where there's a food court nearby? Do you, are you prepared to make the decisions in order to keep yourself healthy? Do you have a plan? If a, you know, if you're in a mall and the food court's there, do you have the like one, two, three places you can go where you know you can order something healthy? Maybe it's going and getting a cup of tea from the coffee shop just to give yourself something warm and to fill your stomach until the next meal because sometimes all of those smells are overwhelming. 
last night they were making croutons when I walked into the cafe and it was like almost paralyzing how intense the smell was because I've basically been running a raw kitchen at home for the last week even though I haven't been eating 100% raw I've still you know that overstimulating food hasn't been there so you know what do you do in those situations another situation tonight what do I do when my family is getting takeout for dinner am I gonna be like oh it's just this time I'll get back on track tomorrow or do I bring my own food just in case there isn't anything that I should be putting in my body I'm gonna bring my own food because old Kayla would be like I know there's gonna be something there for me some cooked vegetables and some rice and this and that well I am very aware that me personally rice and you know salty cooked vegetables and cooked root vegetables it's like this big black hole and I just bury myself in it and there's no ending I can't just have like one potato I can't just have like half a cup of rice it's like I will eat it until all of it is gone it's it's just like it never ends it's crazy so that is how I am dealing with this situation and it's the same way that I'm going to deal with things like Christmas for my American viewers that just had Thanksgiving how did you deal with Thanksgiving if you eat differently than your family for us I actually we didn't have a Thanksgiving this year which I was very thankful for <laughs> um, our family did we just didn't do it and that's totally fine but Christmas will come up and so I will I'll make myself some raw vegan treats or I'll buy something I'll you know have a dessert that I can have so people it's almost half for the people around me because I, I eat so much fruit during the day that I don't really crave sweet at night ever. But the people around me look at me like I'm depriving myself. And it's not that I need to, you know, prove them wrong or make them feel better about themselves. But I want to show people that it does not, what I'm doing does not have to be a deprivation situation. It's not at all. It's just making choices and making adjustments and loving myself and my, the freedom within my body more than I love my pain and I love, you know, stuffing my face for that moment. That's, that's what it comes down to is making that choice. And the more that I, I love the simple quote just means so much to me. I've been watching a lot of Rob Wild and in one of his videos he kept talking about win the day, win the day. Just today, just focus on today because all you have is right now. Can you make the decision that you are feel like you are that you feel like you are winning? Right now, I know a week ago today I was not feeling like I was winning. I tried to prepare and I'm like, oh, I'll stop at the store and I'll get this and this. Well, I ended up buying like these, you know, dehydrated this and that. And I, I got a box of chocolate gluten-free cookies. And I, I made all of these really terrible decisions. And then the next day, I still felt like I was not winning, even though I was getting back on the fruit. So anyway, my camera is telling me that I'm about to run out of space. I hope you guys are doing awesome. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you tomorrow with another um, transition video. See you later. Bye.